Hey guys, we see here the Westinghouse Contemporary Steering Fan. I installed this fan about two years ago. There's an old video of it on my channel. I think it's still accessible to the public today. Um, it's definitely got its fair share of use. Uh, I need, I'll probably need to come by and clean it. But uh, yeah, it has the uh, archery style blades. And uh, yeah. This installation was my doing. I did this about two or three years ago. Replaced a Hunter Low Profile 2 with a, an extremely bad capacitor, might I add. And it's just been here ever since. I think we got this from it's we got it Sutherland's. I think that was, you know, it was two or three years ago, it had to put into inflation. Uh, that was, we bought it for like $35, $40. So you'd probably have to inflate that to, to, uh, today's, or today's, uh, you know. If, if you're curious, there's the Westinghouse logo. Crank it up to medium. It's a, it's a cheap fan, you know, they just, if you needed a little hugger fan, it's not probably the most ideal fan for this space, uh, but, you know, it, it works. Um, you know, moves the air. It's not a bad fan. Just, I, you know, I, as a collector, I would definitely get something more vintage, if you will. Crank it up to uh, high speed now. High speed is a bit underwhelming, I might add. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not a terrible fan, it's just I would expect it to go faster. I mean, it's gonna, I mean, it has a you know, decently sized, I think it's like a 153 by like 15. Or 17 or, or some of that nature. It's not that small of a motor for this size of fan. Might just be a capacitor. I might need to come here and just completely disassemble it and tighten it because as you can see it kind of So, uh, you never know. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.